Hey everyone, it's Dr. Shalini Gupta at the Dermatology Laser and Vein Center and today I wanted to talk about photodynamic therapy. This is a really great procedure and there are two main indications that we use photodynamic therapy for in our office. The first is acne. So from mild to pretty severe acne, we can get great results using the addition of photodynamic therapy and then we can also treat patients who have sun damage and who, and who have accumulated precancerous skin lesions or early skin cancers on their face or anywhere on their body. So what is photodynamic therapy? Well, it essentially uses one of four different technologies in our office. We can either use blue light, red light, the V-beam laser, or even an IPL laser. Um, we tend to use the BBL laser, broadband light, which I think is a bit superior. Um, but those are the four modalities that can be used independently for acne treatment or for uh, skin rejuvenation. But when we add a medication to the skin in advance of using these technologies, it gives a more targeted treatment for, we're, for what we are actually trying to uh, treat. So for example, um, if we're treating acne, the medication that we use is going to absorb into those acne lesions and then the light will be attracted to that medication that is sitting inside of those sebaceous follicles and be able to give a more specific treatment to those lesions. And then the same with precancerous lesions, the medication will penetrate into those precancerous areas and then the light will be more able to target specific areas of the skin. So the medication we use is called aminolevulinic acid and it comes in these little sticks called Kara sticks. They are for individual use pretty much and what we do is um, there is a powder and a liquid. So the powder and the liquid are separate inside the container and then they are cracked open. So we crack open the powder, we crack open the liquid and then those two get mixed and then um, the liquid will come out of this applicator and it gets evenly applied to the area that we want to target. Once um, we apply this medication to the skin, and we always want to make sure that the skin is devoid of any grease or uh, skincare products because uh, we want maximum penetration. So we usually will use some acetone to pre-cleanse the skin and to get all the oils and debris off the skin. Another good thing to do is to use a microdermabrasion procedure right before doing this procedure or even dermaplaning to get some of the dead skin off so that we get better penetration of the medication into the skin. So once it's applied, we'll leave it on usually for about an hour if we are treating acne. We may leave it on longer in other body areas or if we are treating, let's say, precancerous lesions. So we have done this procedure successfully on various different body parts, including the legs. Sometimes on the legs, I've even asked patients to go home and come back the next day so that we can get better uh, penetration of the medication into the lesions uh, where the skin is a bit thicker, such as the legs. So that's basically it. We apply the medication and then after uh, we feel that the medication has probably uh, concentrated well enough into either acne lesions or the precancerous skin lesions, then we can use uh, one of the four modalities I spoke about earlier. So the blue light is a really nice procedure for mild to moderate acne. If it is more severe acne, we will use the red light because it has more anti-inflammatory effects and it's stronger. It's a much brighter, a bit of a stronger energy that comes out of that. And that's the light that we would use for precancer skin lesions as well that are more advanced. And for early sun damage, we can certainly use the blue light. But I also love using the lasers to activate the um, Lebulon. And so we can use, for example, the BBL laser and that gives a little bit of an extra advantage for example if somebody does have hyperpigmentation from their acne or they have brown spots from sun damage it'll get some of that off at the same time um, and i also love to use the v-beam laser which is also a vascular laser that nicely activates the uh, lebulon 
So uh, those are the options, and then sometimes I combine it, and actually very often we combine it, where we might do the light first just to activate most of the levulon and then do a laser treatment with it um, to get further activation and also improvement in some of the scarring and other issues that might be affecting the skin. So let's just take a quick look at some pictures here. This is an example of a patient who has acne and um, this is immediately following a, a photodynamic therapy treatment and you can see she has a significant amount of redness, a little bit of crusting and then here she is after treatment and you can see a nice reduction in her acne uh, because again like I said the keratostic uh, basically, the aminolevulinic acid is going to concentrate into the sebaceous glands and then the energy source used will be able to cause a photodestruction of the gland where this medication is concentrated. So this is another example of uh, photodestruction using photodynamic therapy with, with uh, aminolevulinic acid and you can see a really significant reduction in acne lesions, both in count and also in the severity of the acne. Here's another example. Usually we recommend doing several treatments for acne patients um, and for sun damage as well. I would recommend ideally three treatments and we like to space them anywhere from two weeks to four weeks apart. Um, but it really is up to the patient. Sometimes we don't need that many and then sometimes we need maybe a little bit more than three treatments to get you to your end result. But the results are absolutely worth it and it works. Um, it definitely is a home run procedure. This is another example where um, you can see a really beautiful clearance of all that pesky acne. A lot of patients don't like to be on antibiotics or to use oral medications or they might be really irritated using topicals and sometimes you develop sort of a resistance to some of the antibiotics and topical treatments. So we've seen that a lot in our patients where A, they don't want to be on those medications because of other potential side effects or they've tried them and it's just failed. Um, and it no longer is working. So then, uh, you know, these are great tools to use. Here's another example of uh, severe acne improving nicely. Uh, we also, I like to combine this procedure in patients who have fairly severe acne with another procedure called Thermage, which is a radiofrequency based procedure that also helps to shrink the sebaceous glands. So that can also be done if we want to get quicker results and um, a deeper treatment of deep cystic acne. Here's another example. This patient actually had photodynamic therapy and then it was followed up with the Fraxel laser to help with some of the scarring and you can just see how nice that looks. Uh, here is a patient who has the precancerous kind of skin lesions. You can see how it highlights all of those uh, skin lesions and more that were perhaps not visible right up front. And then you can see how it looks after treatment. It just helps to clear everything up. And as you've noticed, even in the acne patients, the skin just looks so much healthier because it's able to get rid of um, skin cells that are just not working correctly in the skin. And then here's another example of sun damage with sort of this rosacea-like appearance. Um, it is actually really helpful for redness and rosacea as well. And then this is a treatment on the scalp where this patient has a lot of actinic keratoses. And this is after treatment with the Levulon. So that in a nutshell is photodynamic therapy. It's a treatment that enhances the lights and the lasers we can use to effectively target and get a photodestruction to specific skin lesions to help get rid of those. Um, it also just really gives a beautiful rejuvenation and we even have patients who don't have acne or precancerous skin lesions um, but they may still do photodynamic therapy because it really enhances the laser treatment um, and you just get a much more rejuvenated effect, I would say sometimes by 5 to 10x just with the use of the aminolevulinic acid. So I hope that was helpful and uh, informational. Thank you so much.